Good afternoon, my name is Ant and welcome to my workshop. Okay, I've seen it about on YouTube, the Christmas Tool Restoration Challenge, so I thought I'd give it a little go, um, just for a little bit of fun, you know it is. So what I've decided to do is this no-name brand oiler I've had for <laughs> several years probably. Uh, it's got a nice little brass nozzle at the end, it's red in colour at the moment it's the spring type and I'm gonna break it down strip it and uh, make it a little bit more festive let's say okay let's get on with it now <laughs> I'm gonna say this is gonna be simple to take apart however I've got a feeling that that is absolutely rock solid. So, I'm gonna get some good old WD-40 on it. Behold, a large can. And I think what it needs is holding upside down and getting it in the threads of the lid. Now that needs to be worked in a little bit. Oh jeez, you never know one quite so tight as that. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave it to soak and I'll get back to you. Well, that was some palaver, believe me. I had to get a set of Stilsons Stilson's. I had to get a set of footprints and release the top with them. Now they need a clean up uh, as always and the lid does come off. Now then, uh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, wow, yeah man. <laughs> that is <laughs> that is a rubber seal, believe it or not. That is craziness. Uh, yeah, I need to dig all that out of there. It looks all there though. It does work. It is sucking nicely. So yeah, wow, that needs a serious clean up. There is oil in the bottom of there. Or something of that nature. So what I'll do at this stage is strip down the working parts, as we say, you say in the army. Um, just pop that plunger out like so that releases that bit there's a spring in there with the ball bearing so be careful it also helps to release this part which is simply you say screwed off now also don't forget there is components in there like a spring so pop those in there and then you can remove the long spring and then remove the post and that's slightly bent you can then remove the trigger and that is that you can see there's plenty of oil in there that needs a good rinse a good degrease and then we can get stuck into giving it a good clean same with that like i said there is oil in there so that's going to need to be drained up and uh, disposed of properly but you can see that's never been cleaned never been cleaned in years um, I can't remember where I got it from. To be fair, I, I think I paid. If I'm, if I can vaguely remember paying a pound for it at a car boot sale. In fact, I'll tell you what, I did pay a pound for this because I remember carrying it home in a plastic bag and it leaked in my other bag, my bag of delights. So that needs a good clean up. So there it is, stripped down. Um, I'm going to drain it and then we'll see about that later on. Well during the cleanup uh it's no longer a no name brand it is actually a wesco as you can just about see there i think wesco registered trademark birmingham made in england now as you know if you've watched my videos before birmingham is my home city i was born in birmingham uh and i lived in birmingham until I left to join the army and when i left the army after 22 years i came back to birmingham and I drink and eat in Birmingham all the time. And back in the day, there were thousands of factories 
pretty much all gone now, but everything used to be made in Birmingham. Wesco, guns, Birmingham small arms, BSA bikes, screws, nuts, Raybone, um, Avery scales. So it was a massive area of manufacture. So it's quite pleasant to see. I'm quite pleased that that's popped up because that was absolutely filthy, as you know. So I've cleaned up the internal parts and as you can see, they're pretty clean. So all I've got to do now is reassemble. So I hope you like the video. Please subscribe, tell your friends, leave a comment and like the video. But above all else, I'd like to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching.